previously on StarCraft 1 Zerg campaign. So, <laughs> my name is Vapo, welcome back. We are going to be continuing on with the Zerg uh, campaign, which is called the Overmind. In the previous mission, we had destroyed uh, Protoss bases and prevented any Protoss uh, Dark Templar troops from escaping. In this mission, we're going to be invading Ire. This is the invasion of Ire, and uh, one of the very kind of uh, important missions in the, the Protoss lore because this is obviously where the, the the home world gets destroyed so it kind of puts the protoss on a, on a it kind of just you know all their plans just go to shit just simply because the zerg just decide to invade them and the reason for that is because when um zeratul destroyed zas which was i believe two missions ago uh he, at the same time he destroyed a Cerebrate, but but the Overmind was able to basically get into Zeratul's mind and read uh, basically the location of Ire. Because of that, we know where it is, and we're now going to be attacking it. Now, it's quite strange that, you know, I mean, I suppose it is a whole vast universe that you can actually kind of miss a whole planet. Um, you know, it's like not knowing where it is, but hey, it's, it is a huge universe, I suppose, so yeah, let's just jump straight into the mission, less talking crap, uh, so this is the Zerg Swarm, high orbit over Protoss Homeworld Ir. let's go to the briefing. Alright, so bring a drone to the Kaderan um, Crystal Formation. I do remember this mission, I have to say. And before we start, make sure to like the video. I, I keep forgetting to ask this at the start of the video. Please guys, like the video, it really would be appreciated. Uh, it's one of the most important things that you can do when you watch someone's videos, especially if you enjoy them. So uh, yeah, I think I've already mentioned twice, please like that video, that's the third. Um, so in this mission, we have this Kaderan Crystal in the middle of the map. Well, it's kind of to the bottom. Uh, we get a, a base at the very top left if I remember right and we basically need to get to it with a drone. Now what happens next I do not remember but I know that it's not the end of the mission. I just I just remember that something else happens. Now if I'm not mistaken I think I need to destroy the rest of the um, the Protoss bases but uh, we'll get to that. Hey what, what was that you done? Oh sweet I did not know that. Alright, so control clicking a unit. Oh, that's really handy. Huh, learn something new every day. So control clicking a unit highlights all of them without double clicking it. Uh, if you do control shift, it's going to add it to the group. So let's say I'm doing Hydralisk and Zerglings. Single clicks. Pretty awesome. Now, I don't know if that existed in StarCraft 1, but certainly does here. Right, let's uh, build a second hatchery because a second hatchery is going to come in handy here. And you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to start upgrades straight away. It's kind of a waste to, just, uh, you know, use resources this early on upgrades. But um, I think that I have enough to establish a decent economy without it, without that 100 uh, mineral and gas. So I think I'll just use, make use of it. Now I'm going to build a bit of defenses straight away, that's also going to be important here. Now the reason I have an overlord here of course is for detection, for dark tempers and shit like that. Ah oh, what? Why did they... Ah I see. Okay that's very inefficient but okay.
Alright, so this is the crystal formation that we need to get a drone to. Now the map is fairly big, and what I will do, just for the sake of probably saving myself time later, if I remember right, you do need to end, end up destroying um, all of this, the Protoss bases here, so I will build up quite a large force before invading that. Now, let's see how, well, how we're doing in resources. It's mostly 1500. It's enough to... I, I hope it's enough to do a decent bit of damage. I thought there was a spire for a second, but it's actually a big ass tree. I think that should be optimal now. Yeah, perfect. Now oh, there's always a drone waiting for it. Right, and now let's start with. Uh, our good old attack forces. I'm gonna build a second evolution chamber, just... Do I really need it? That's a good question actually. I'm gonna build it in front of this. The reason for that is it's gonna absorb some damage. I mean, it's a 750 health building. Might not do a whole lot, but if it can prevent this thing from dying and potentially killing an extra zealot or something, I'll, I'll build it. Uh, one thing I will get early is those zergling upgrades. They're going to be quite useful, and I need to split these guys up. So I'll get that, and then I need to rush straight for a hive. I do want to get some ultra set on the floor, simply because they are going to be ridiculous good. For now, I suppose I'll just keep pumping out some units. I want to get some second base quite early here. I don't want to wait too long. So let's try to do that. Right, Mutalists are not the best of things to get against Protoss. In fact, Protoss are, are one of those races that are very difficult to, to attack with uh, against overall because they're so beefy. And the one advantage that Zerg has over Protoss is the sheer numbers that you get. So that can be quite a useful thing. I won't bother with queens, the only reason I'm getting this is actually for the hive. So screw that. You know, I probably should get Aspire to get myself some guardians. I really don't want to go. Oh shit, I might actually need some extra hydrolysis. What I do need to get actually is Burrow. It's something I haven't actually gotten yet and is actually quite a useful skill. Particularly if something is getting low on health and you just want to kind of hide it away. Very handy. Right, not none of this network for now. I'm going to get an Ultra Mound. 
Carcass Level 2 as well as soon as I can afford it. I'm going to split these up just a little bit because one Reaver is going to cause havoc. I'm going to get movement speed for Zerglings. And I think as soon as I have um, upgrades for the Zerglings done, which is uh, both the Adrenal Glands and the Metabolic Boost, I'm going to start kind of st sending units out and doing some damage. I might get one or two Ultralists in there just to spice things up. Um, also, what I want to get... Movement speed? Yeah, I can afford that. And simply that's for uh, detection. Ultra's mount looks really creepy. And the funny thing is, Ultralists don't cost that much. I'm, I was sure that they costed more. I know in, in, um, in StarCraft 2 they cost like 400, 400 I think. Which is ridiculous, but... Um, Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Alright, all good there. Next, green glands. are about a third of, of this turtle down, which is not great. So yeah, because we're limited on resources in this base, I will kind of keep it a little bit safe. I'll build a massive army, then I'll just try to do it all in one. Now this is by no means a, a massive army, but it's quite large. Got the up most of the upgrades done. Just want to get level three here as well, but I'm not gonna actually wait for that one. I'll wait for level two and then I will move on. All right, let's do this. See how far he gets. Okay, there's nothing there. It's a small little base. Now, what I should do, and I really should have thought of this earlier, is I do need that spire. And the reason for that is probably for sniping reavers. Oh, that hurted. Okay, that just like wiped out pretty much all my zerglings, so that's not great. She cut that mid upgrade, so that's awesome. We have mineral patches here, that's actually important as well. Right, you are gonna go back. I'd rather take him out of action and just save that, because he will regenerate full health eventually. Our forces are under attack. Shit. Our forces are under attack. Our forces are under attack. 
Our forces are under attack. Now this is nice, 5,000 gas. Now, that was obviously not their main base, but it did uh, cause a bit of attacks, which obviously are now done. But we'll also be able to build a base here, which is pretty awesome. I should probably get movement speed, since these guys are holding on so much easier. Oh, look at that, another base. Alright. Now, this is awesome, because this has a lot of minerals in it. So that is a straight sign to me that I should bring over two drones. One over here. Oh shit, this is really inconveniently placed. There's like an awkward gap there. Our forces are under attack. Oh, we've got attacking. Now that's actually all right. We're not too worried about that. Our forces are under attack. All right, and so we got the attack here. Almost done. Gonna get movement speed for Hydralis because that is awesome. Got a bunch of Ultralisk ready, which is sick. Um, am I gonna get Mutalis? Probably not at this stage. Our forces are under attack. This Ultralisk is just ready to eat the dust. You know what, I'm going to bring him here for just, just in case. Spawn more overlords. Our forces are under attack. Our forces are under attack. Ah oh, shit, we got a carrier. Oh shit. Now these guys need to really split up. Oh, nasty. <laughs> These guys are just like, yeah, let's just wreck everything on the on the way there. Who gives a shit about the rest of them? How are we doing here? Missiles level three. Can include these guys as well. They're not needed here anymore. Uh, two. Oh shit. Alright, I think.
think I can actually get rid of some of these. Our forces are under attack. Ah, I did notice the uh, cyanide storm. That kind of wrecked me. I need to finish this off because there is probably more units there. Our forces are under attack. Oh shit! I did not see that. It's probably been wrecking a bunch of things until now. Look at them, just going to town on that. Let's see, as an experiment, it's three zerglings. Oh shit. Okay, well, they're not three anymore. Just take three zerglings. And they're upgraded to, what, tree tree? With adrenal glands and um, metabolic boost. Is it enough to destroy this? It certainly is. Three zerglings. Worth 75 minerals. It's enough to destroy one of those. Just tells you how freaking useless those things are. Now there is a bunch of anti air here, which is Our annoying. Forces are under attack. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Okay, I have a feeling there's reavers back there and I'm not even being aware of them right now. So I'm gonna back the hell up. Our forces are under attack. I should have been paying more attention to be honest, that was my mistake. I don't I actually need to bring them back all together because they're going to die. Now we've obviously also got... I forgot to actually destroy this. Got obviously uh, some sort of air bases that are being quite annoying there. So I will take care of those shortly. Now, as you saw, I did just build the list. The reason for that is actually for convenience purposes. I should probably take care of that. Forgot all about my gas re uh, requirements. Is that okay there? Yeah. Our forces are under attack. We require more minerals. Now I will be using these guys along with these guys. They're going to be my meat shields. Our forces are under attack. Okay, well that didn't work. Oh shit, that was actually a mistake. Is where the freaking hell? Is 
that base because I would like to very much destroy it. And this base has actually caused me quite a lot of problems now as well, so I would like to hopefully get rid of it. Our forces are under attack. I do need to get a lot of anti-air for this. Our forces are under attack. Here. This is all great. Got lots of gas now, so that's a, a plus. Oh, this is actually gone, so I'm gonna get that here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get wrecking on this base. Let's go see what the hell actually destroyed all of them. Units here. There has to be some reavers. Or not. Looks like we're just gonna overrun it all together. Fuck that. Quite okay with that. Our forces are under attack. Ah, right, let's do this shit. Now the funny thing is it's gonna be if I don't actually need to destroy anything else and just that's it. Then again, what's so bad about destroying the whole Protoss base? I mean it's Crystal is being harvested. Ah, we have to wait. <laughs> that makes sense. 
All right, so I'm gonna do a quick save here, just in case. Where's the drone gun? That's the question. I assume they're just gonna be super attacking me right now. Our forces are under attack. Spawn more overlords. Oh uh, yeah, I should probably take care of that. There's a reaver. Oh, those storms. You should bat, never mind. Hell screw holding off. I'm gonna just wreck everything. Because that's how we do it. Working on resources everywhere. That's a plus. Done, guys. Six minutes remaining. Oh, look, I found another base. That's about to get over. Him. It's quite alright. My Zergling count is quite numerous. That Ultras was actually already dead. It had like barely any health. That's pretty much that. I mean, they can't really do anything after that. That is that. Oh, there's actually more units here. Okay. Can I destroy them before the timer runs out? Probably not. I, don't, I won't have enough. Uh... Oh, wait. I can actually get them in time. Oh, these units don't... This doesn't look like they actually need to be in a base. They just spawn. So that's cool. Let's just get these guys to patrol. Where are my needlists? Spawn more overlords. Our forces are under attack. A 
Alright, let's do this. But yeah, with, with Zerg, I mean, their whole strength comes from massive numbers. I mean, hence this, the term Zerging something. It's just, you know, you rush something, go crazy, big numbers, and just go mad. Oh, shit, trade in here. And that is the end of the Protoss. I'd like to section actually another base here. Hell, I could have had so much resources. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, places to get minerals and gas on this map. For the sake of laws, let's put these guys in patrol. Our forces are under attack. That's pretty much that. Oh, we still need to bring it to the... To the beacon. Where is the beacon? Oh, the beacon is here, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Now, I wonder, if it died now, what would happen? Would it drop it? Or would it... Uh, would it, you know... Just lose the mission? After all of that. I assume that it would just drop it. Just like with the... Um, other crystal thing that we had to bring before. Crystal, sorry, not crystal. Cerebrit, the Kateran crystals are in our possession. Now, all shall tremble before the might of the swarm. Alright. I lost my first building! Prolos got nothing on me. Right. That's pretty much that, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, that was mission 9 called the Invasion of Ire, we have now absolutely annihilated the Protoss, and they certainly should not be thinking about doing any sort of resistance against us. So that's pretty much that, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'm sorry for asking you to like the video so much, but it does really really help, especially for a small channel like mine. And so that's pretty much that, thanks for watching, make sure to tune in for the next video, which is going to be probably tomorrow, number 10, which I believe is the last campaign, uh, last mission of the Zerg campaign overnight. Thanks for watching guys, take care.